how Thailand's constitutional court has ordered the dissolution of the opposition Move Forward Party. The court also banned the party's leaders from political office for 10 years. This comes as the party pledged to amend the country's strict laws against insulting the royal family. Critics say the military-backed government used the law to clamp down on free speech. Let's go to Tony Cheng, who joins us from Bangkok. So, Tony, what's, what's going to happen next? The party is dissolved, and one of the most popular politicians in the country, the party's former leader, Peter Lim Jaronrat, banned from running for office. He is for 10 years, um, and he's just come out. We've waited this long, lengthy verdict being read by the court. We heard it was a unanimous decision. And then at the end of this 45-minute reading, it very quickly announced that the party was dissolved, the executive committee is banned. Uh, about five minutes later, Peter Limger and Rat and his legal team came out of the building. They've just left in a huge scrum of Thai media. I did, however, get a question to ask him very briefly through the throngs of local journalists what he was planning to do next. He said it was a little early at this stage, that there would be more to come later on today, but he said the party was planning to move forward. And I think many people looking at this situation, guessing that the, the court would find move forward guilty, will expect that uh, we will see once again the party reincarnated. It, this is its second incarnation. It used to be known as Future Ford. Uh, it's now moved forward. One would imagine they will use the same forward-looking theme and certainly the same progressive platform. And I think this is going to be the issue both for the party but also for the conservative establishment that are so clearly opposed to them that every time they come back, and it does make it very difficult for them, but they do come back in some form or another, they hope their platform also survives. And, and I think this is going to be a problem we're going to see for some time to come. They've got rid of the party, but the party platform is going to exist for some time to come. OK, move forward. Uh, the, most, the party that came first in the last general election in Thailand dissolved just moments ago with Tony Cheng reporting from the Constitutional Court in Bangkok. Thank you, Tony. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get latest news from Al Jazeera.